Hey guys, and welcome to this SketchUp for Schools tutorial. Today we're going to be designing this structural part in SketchUp for Schools. Now, when you look at this part right here, you would think that normally you would design this using AutoCAD or 3D SolidWorks. But I'm going to show you that you can, e you can even do it here in SketchUp, even in the version for schools. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our menu. We're going to go to Home. We're going to select the type of drawing and ours is going to be decimal in millimeters so go ahead and select decimal millimeters and then hit create new once it loads the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to delete her and then i need to import my drawing so uh, here in youtube it should be attached to the youtube video and then for students it should be in your assignment folder for today so when you go to your assignment folder you should add it to your google drive Go to your Google Drive, make sure you added it to your SketchUp Designs folder. Scroll down till you see the part example, structural part example. It's gonna be as an image. And we're gonna put it right here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll in here and we're gonna look at what we're gonna be drawing. Okay, so this is the structural part. This is all of the, all of the measurements. And so when we look at this right here for the rectangle, the main rectangle, which is the first part that we're gonna draw. It's 80, and then you have to have these side pieces of 20 plus 20. So that's gonna be 120, and then it's gonna be with a width of 80 right here, okay? Now also notice that all of our circles have diameters, right? So to get the radius, which is what you have to do here in SketchUp, it's always gonna be half of the diameter that's listed. So the first thing we're gonna do is a rectangle that is gonna be 120, by 80. So let's go, go ahead and go over to our rectangle tool, scroll out a little bit, and we're going to draw a rectangle right here on the surface, and it's going to be 120 comma 80, hit enter. Okay, now remember this is small, so we're going to be ha having our size here. Okay, our next size that is on the drawing is going to be the thickness, and so the, the thickness or the height is going to be 15. So go ahead and go over to your push-pull tool. You're going to pull it up 15 and hit enter. Now you notice that it does hit millimeters, right? So everything that we're doing right now is in millimeters, so you don't have to notate that. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to rotate our piece over so we look like this. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is drawing our circles, okay? And then if we look at the sizes of those circles, our sizes of our circles are that we need two circles, right? This outer circle is going to be 80, a uh, diameter of 80, so the radius is going to be 40. And then the inner circle is going to be a radius of, of 30, right? Because the diameter is 60. So we're going to do two circles, 40 and 30. And then the height is going to be 20 for the outer circle. And then you notice that the inner circle has a height of 15, so we, have, we are gonna have to pull that, the inside area up by five, okay? So that's what we're gonna do right now. So go back over to your piece, scroll over, however you need to get there. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your circle tool. So right here inside the rectangle menu, you're gonna go down to circle, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to find the midpoint and then without clicking, you're gonna scroll over, right? And then you go find the midpoint on the upper one and scroll over and find the circle, right? And that's going to that's gonna guide you into the center of your area, okay? So that is the center of our rectangle. And so the first circle that we are drawing, remember, is going to be with a radius of 40. So we type in 40, hit enter, okay? And then again, you go from side, from midpoint to midpoint, and that will bring you to the center, okay? And then you're going to do a radius of 30. So those are our two circles. Okay. The next thing we have to do is we have to pull this outer area up by 20. So we're going to pull that out by 20. And then we're going to pull this inner area up by 5. Okay. And so now we should this height should be 15. This height should be 20 right here. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is put another circle on the inside here. So if you notice right here, it does have a hole and that this hole is a 
diameter of 30. So we have to do a, a hole that is has a, di a radius of 15. And so I'm going to go back to my circle tool. And so again, if you if you click on the side first, don't click here. Just just have your cursor over here, and then it will bring you to the center. So we're going to do a radius of 15. Hit enter. Okay. Now we are going to have to cut this out. So we're going to go to our push pull tool. We're going to push down, and then we're going to click in 20 and hit enter. That is going to push down the hole into the center. Okay. So now we've had we have our first part that is complete. Okay. Now we're going to be working on our side area. So let's scroll back out, come back over here. I'm going to look at those dimensions real quick. Okay. And now this side area or these side pieces right here are, they're a width of 20, right? You have a rectangle that is going to be 80 and then subtracting this height of, of 15 that we already have here because it has a height of 50 right here. So 50 minus 15 is going to be 35 because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle here on the bottom of my piece and I'm going to have this rectangle and it's for a height of 35 and then it's going to be a width, a width of 20. And so I'm coming over here, coming on to the side. I'm going to get my rectangle tool. Okay. And so from here, I'm going to come over to the other end and I'm going to bring it down on the red axis. Okay. Now this red axis, I'm going to draw a rectangle that is 80 comma 35. Hit enter. Okay. That brings, that brings the piece down. Now I'm going to hit my circle tool to get that, to get that distance that I need. And then I'm going to go from the midpoint here in the center and I'm going to bring this all the way to the edge. Okay. And so what that's going to do is it's going to give me that, that, that area that I needed for the bottom. Okay. So this height is 50 right here now. And then we have that uh, area on the bottom that we needed. Next thing I want to do is I want to go over to my eraser tool and I'm going to erase all of these excess pieces. Okay, let's also erase this this middle piece right here. I need to push and pull this piece out for the thickness. And remember, our thickness is 20. So I'm going to go on the inside right here, and I'm going to type in 20, All right? Now, I also have a circle that's here in the center, and that circle has a radius of 16. So I'm going to come back over to my circle tool. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to find the center. And it's going to bring me to the center point. So I'm just, I'm not clicking anything. I'm just going to the midpoint here, coming down till it brings me to the center here. And I'm going to do a radius of 16. Hit enter. And this is another hole. And so I'm going to push this through. And this has a thickness of 20 again. All right. So now we have our side piece right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that because the other side is exactly the same. So instead of drawing it again, I'm going to select it. So what I want to do is come over my select tool. I'm going to select that entire area that I want. If you've never used the move tool before, you're going to hit the move. And then now we're going to copy it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the edge. We're going to hit control. Hit notice that plus symbol. And then we're going to move it to the edge on the red axis. Okay. So that just copied my piece. And so now that should be complete. I'm going to erase any unwanted lines. Okay. So when I come over here, I'm going to select my eraser tool. I'm going to erase this, this line right here. I'm going to erase this line, this line. I'm going to turn around and erase this line. Okay. So now I have all my unwanted lines erased. Now the last couple of things that I have to do is I'm going to add a 3d text. And so when you come over here to where the circle tool is, you're going to go where it says 3D text and you're going to name it with your name. OK, and so I'm just going to put a structural part. You're going to name it with your name. You want open sands, your height is going to be eight millimeters, your text extrusion you can have as eight millimeters as well. Hit okay. You're gonna bring it over here, 
put it on the front of your piece, hit the paint bucket. You can paint your color of that 3D text, any color you want. And now in the same area, we're gonna go ahead and hit this, this magnifying glass and we're gonna go down to metal and we're gonna select a metal color. Okay, and we're gonna color our part metal. And so you're going to have to color all the faces. And you can color any color you want. So if you want uh, to use this, this type of uh, color, if you want it to be darker, you can go here. If you want a sheen or a shine on it. Okay, so... Now we have all of our areas colored, and that is the completion of our structural part. Okay, guys, so that ends the video. The last thing that we gotta do is we gotta name this. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna save it. We're gonna go over here to our drive. And then, so when this opens up, you should go to your SketchUp Designs. We're gonna name this as Structural Part. And we're gonna save it. Make sure it says saved. And that is the last thing you got to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please talk to your instructor. Have a great day.